everything you know is wrong. Everything you believe is wrong. If you can tell yourself that and really believe it, then you can start to build new truths. But that first step of confronting your own thoughts and telling yourself that everything's wrong, no one can do that for you. You have to decide to do it. Today I want to talk about the fact that I'm basically two years old. And if you have no idea what I mean by that, then you're going to learn today. I spent so many years of my life doing absolutely nothing. Literally nothing. Nothing at all. It is genuinely impressive. My morning ritual was wake up at 2 p.m., open up League of Legends, read the patch notes, queue up for top lane, and I just play for hours. For hours. And uh, some of my friends would be waking up around the same time as me. So we'd all play together. 3, 4 in the morning comes along. 3, 4 in the morning, it's time to go to sleep. But you always have that one friend who just wants to keep going. It's already 3 in the morning. It's already 4 in the morning. You know, it's late. It's already the next day. You might as well just stay up and enjoy it. So you do. Because what else do you have going on in your life? So you stay up. 5 o'clock comes around. 6 o'clock comes around. Sun starts to come up. You get pissed off at the sound of the birds chirping outside of your window. You get mad at the sound of birds chirping outside your window. Because you stayed up till 6.30 in the morning playing video games. Eventually you just get tired and, and you tell your friend, alright, this is the last game. You've already said that three, four times now. But you mean it this time, right? You mean it this time. This is the last game for real. You play the game and you lose. Can't end the night on a loss. You can't end the night on a loss. You gotta keep going until you get that win. So, okay. This is the last game. This is the last one. Three, four games later, you're just asleep at your keyboard. It's no longer up to you at that point. Your body tells you it's time to go. So you go. Eight in the morning. You fall asleep. Then you wake up at 2 p.m. and you do it all over again. That's not even including the junk food you're eating, the lack of exercise, the fact that you haven't gone outside all week long, the fact that you can't sleep until you watch porn. Is that really living? Is that really living? Does that really count? All those years that you spent doing that, does any of it count? I don't think so. So when I say that I'm two years old, I mean that it's only really been the last two years that I've been present, that I've been living life, really living life. Imagine looking as old as I do and having only lived for two years. It's incredible. It's disorienting. But that's what it is. It really makes you wish that you could just go back and change things. It really makes you question the decisions that you're making currently and the decisions that that you made in the past. It makes you it makes you very introspective. Because it's very easy to slip back into that addictive mindset. I'm the kind of person where I find something that I like, something that I'm passionate about, something that I enjoy and I do it to death. I do it until I either physically or mentally cannot do it anymore. It's a problem. I find something that brings me joy and I do it until I burn out. That's the kind of person that I am. It's hard to trust your own thoughts when those are the thoughts that led you to where you are now. But what I'm finding is that as soon as I started to admit to myself that everything I thought and everything I knew was wrong, that literally my entire 
life, everything that I felt, my instincts, my gut reactions, what I felt and truly believed to be the way things are, they're all wrong. Everything you know is wrong. Everything you believe is wrong. If you can tell yourself that and really believe it, then you can start to build new truths. You can start to develop new habits. You open up the possibility for new things in your life. But that first step of confronting your own thoughts and telling yourself that everything's wrong, that's an important first step. No one can do that for you. You have to decide to do it. You have to decide to reset. But once you do, you'll start to see how disjointed, how convoluted, how how disconnected from the world you really were and still am. You start to understand why people give you weird looks. You start to understand why people walk away from conversations with you. You start to understand why you can't seem to relate with others. Because the way that you've been living, it doesn't make any sense. Your beliefs don't make any sense. It's incredible. It's really incredible. One of the first things I realized once I completely quit playing video games was how toxic some of my gaming habits were. League of Legends was a game that I played since season three of League of Legends. So over six years, seven years I've been playing this game. I made it into Diamond multiple times. I literally played against some professional players, some streamers. And I genuinely thought that I was going to be a professional League of Legends player. I never got there. But my belief was that this was what I was going to do with my life. I didn't even like the game. I didn't even like playing it. But it was like the one thing that I felt I was good at. And I grasped so hard at that. Just for that feeling of superiority, for that feeling of competency, just to have something in my life that I felt was my own. I grasped hard. And when I could no longer play the game at the same level that I used to be able to, everything fell apart for me. Because that's what I formed my entire identity off of. My ranking in a video game. Can you imagine that? It's crazy. In hindsight, it's clear as day. But when that's your life, when that's what you wake up to and what you fall asleep to, what you obsess over day in and day out, that's truth. That's real. That's life. That is literally what keeps you going. It's crazy. If you play video games and you genuinely enjoy them, how do you know that? I think that we all should take a step back. Just stop playing. Stop playing games just for a while. You'll find out how bored you are. And by association, you'll find out how boring you are. If your entire personality is video games, it's pixels on a screen, everything that you're proud of, everything that you care about, pixels on a screen, it might be time to take a step back. If you get more excited about leveling up in a game than leveling up in real life, kind of take a step back. In the two years that I've been alive, away from games, I've changed a lot. If I were to look at myself a couple years back compared to who I am now, I've come a long way. But there's still all those extra years 
of lost time that I just feel like I'm trying to make up for. I don't know if that feeling will ever go away. But for now, I'm just gonna do my best. Just do my best to get by. That's all I really got for you. I appreciate you. And until next time.